Oh, he heard me chirping. Get up for another perfect, perfect. This one will be a three run bomb. Today, Brandon Lau is going to have his plus eight inside edge. Team is not going to change, but we are going to look much better on the inside edge scale today. Welcome back, guys. As usual, the rules will be in the description box down below. You can also browse over this graphic that's on the screen right now. Real simple. We're going to play one ranked seasons game. We will open packs after that game. The amount of packs that we open will be based off of how we perform in game. We are currently on a two game win streak since our first five game win streak ended. Three more wins and we get to add another special pack. We've been red hot. Rage quits left and right in this series. Lineup's gonna go Trey Turner, Jason Dominguez, JD Martinez, Joey Gallo, Justin Turner, Brandon Lau, Gary Sanchez, and Byron Buxton. On the bench we'll have Jose Abreu, Alex Verdugo, Luis Robert, Nelson Cruz, and Jordan Alvarez. On the mound today we will be debuting that Grayson Rodriguez Diamond Prospect card five pick Pitch mix heavy, heavy, nasty, 95 mile an hour sinker, 91 break, 96 velo, 78 control, 84 hits per nine. Now I am going to go onto the marketplace here and just show you guys some second baseman. I like loud, don't get me wrong, but it is an area I would like to improve upon later on. Maybe we get a special pack. We could do another one of those space packs. That Kevin Biggio is a card that interests me, especially with the 83 contact versus left. He's not just a complete righty masher. You will get away with him against lefties. And he plays so many different positions. But if we slide over to shortstop, this is where things are going to get good. Because these are the guys we can slide Trey Turner over to second if we get Tatis or Trevor Story. Francisco Lindor, Corey Seager. We could slide these guys to second and have a two-diamond shortstop middle infield. We'll be in a much better position to succeed later on when that happens. For now, though, the team's good. We've been red hot. Let's stay hot and play some rank. We're going to be the home team, and I am taking him to the bank. He's got Musgrove paralleled on the mound. Let's see what his rank season's record is looking like. Seven and seven. We're playing in the nuts. One one slider. We got him one two. He was way out in front. We're gonna stay there. My battery's gonna die. Take a seat. Good, beautiful, 100% accuracy, perfect release. Oh, that feels so good when you get that on the pinpoint. This Grayson Rodriguez is so nasty. Fly ball to center. Three up, three down, just like that. All right. 1-1 one, one count, he hits Trey Turner. That'll bring up Jason Dominguez. Dominguez, let's go! Hit and run to perfection. Thought about going to third, but not worth it. We hit that ball hard. JD! We were a little too early. Oh, no. Oh, he struck us out. We'll just chalk that up as a sacrifice bunt. That was a good pitch. Full count on Joey Gallo. We have worked it back. Justin Turner on deck. Fouls off a pretty good curveball down and in. Ripped! Gallo all over it. That'll be a two-run single. We take the lead early. a boy. Joey on Joey Prime. Justin Turner, perfect, perfect! Goodbye! That dude's been crushing. He went yard in Fenway in the last game. Stays hot. He's always got that inside edge boost, man. Are we getting an early one? Is today an early one? Today and today's an early day. Let's go. Might be a decent amount of packs there. And we're going to rip another special pack. Four runs, three hits. Let's go. I think we had maybe a strikeout or two. Going to just hop into the game history here. Pull it up. I'm not sure how many strikeouts we had. It looks like one, two, two strikeouts. So two strikeouts to go with the three hits four runs, one homer, and two stolen bases. That is 12 packs in total, and we get a special pack for the Rage Quit. Let's get it. More diamonds, baby. These games in and out quick. In and out quick. I got the space three pack. I had this chilling in here from before. This is where we got the Grayson Rodriguez. I really want to throw another dart at this Cavan Biggio card. It would be the perfect snag for our team and what we're looking for. Let's open these 12 standards first, and hopefully... Maybe, even though it's a short game and it's going to be a shorter Pack Squads video on the playlist, maybe, just maybe, we can get some heat to go along with this Diamond Choice Pack that we got. We're on a three game win streak now. We've won eight in a row in total to start our rank seasons grind on Pack Squads. 
The World Series push is on, seven more. We'll definitely upload pack squads on back-to-back -back days a few times leading up to World Series. Not sure if I'm gonna get enough games in to make World Series, but we're gonna get as close as we can. And then of course, next season we'll start at a higher uh, rating and we'll have a better chance of going up. We got diamond equipment in this pack. We got Mizuno cleats that are worth 14,000 stubs. Huh. Four more standard packs? Nothing? Come on, man. Why these standard packs have not been treating me well? Have not been treating me well. Spencer Howard in that last one. Chris Taylor. Man. Brutal, baby. It's just brutal. Now, here's our space three. Give me the rare round. Five. Four. No, no. You know what? You know what? Coach? I want Biggio, coach. I'm asking you. You know... I'm begging you. One time. Five, four, three, two, one. I am just done with you, coach. I'm done with you. Banned. I'm going to go ahead and grab Jim Edmonds. He's going to be a bench bat for us, another outfielder. But 96 94, going to destroy righties, and it'll be a great defensive replacement for the team. Just worst case scenario for us there. Probably the last time we try the Space 3 pack. He will easily replace Alex Verdugo on the squad and join a ton of outfielders that are currently on our bench. We need a backup catcher, we need a backup infielder, and we need a upgrade at second base at some point. I feel like I just get on here and disrespect Brandon Lau. I just, I know what his PCI is going to look like on Hall of Fame. And he's going to get fed lefties. We got to switch him up. He's the one guy that's got to move. As a matter of fact, while we're here, let's do a quick stat recap on everything one thus far. The only parallel card we have is Jason Dominguez. He is currently six for 16 with two homers, two doubles, six RBIs, and three stolen bases in seven games. JD Martinez has played in five games. He's five for 11 with four home runs and seven RBIs. He's just 42 experience points from being parallel. Trey Turner, 107 points from being parallel. He's four for 12 with a double, a triple, three RBIs, and two stolen bases. Gary Sanchez, 43 from being paralleled. He is eight for 12 with three doubles, a triple, two home runs, and two RBIs. Ugh. On the bench for us, Jordan is five for 10 with three home runs, all solo shots. Nelson Cruz is a whopping 0 for six. We've got to fix that. He's going to end up crushing for us off the bench long term. We are going to fix that. Max Scherzer has pitched two games for a total of four innings. Both rage quits, five strikeouts. His parallel is only halfway there, and he's pitched two games. That's tough. And we still have only pitched one inning with the Troy Percival card in one game. We just haven't gotten deep enough into games to use our bullpen. But our bullpen, now that we're looking at it, desperately needs to be upgraded before we move up in rank. Justin Turner, last but not least, is 96 experience points from being parallel one. He is four for 12 with three home runs and five RBIs. Just mashing homers everywhere. And although I've disrespected him to this point, Brandon Lau is five for eight with two doubles and a home run for me. He's been amazing. And when he's got that righty inside edge boost, he already mashes lefty lefty. He's got the inverted splits. It's not, again, it's not that I don't like it. There's just other options I would like to go get. Hey, 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 um, we're just gonna do two games in this video. Let's jump right back in. I guess no real need to talk about the team or anything since we just played. So one thing I am gonna change, because you guys have been making this suggestion, I'll put Gallo at third since he's the better defender than Justin Turner. I don't... We're gonna be the home team, and we got Lamet on the mound. He's got a bunch of parallel threes. Otani on the bump. I'm taking him to Citizens Bank Park. I gotta get a, a home stadium specifically for pack squads. He's got a 29 and 30 record. Let's play. One down. Good start. Super dot. It is one, two. Looking to put him away. Good slider. Good release. Rolls it into the shift. Dose. Pop up on the infield, and that'll do it for the inning. Three up, three down for Lament. Let's roll. Dominguez with a one out knock. Perfect, perfect. There's a pack. Oh, I tried to go hit and run first pitch, and he got us. Good stuff. Good rip. I mean, that's good squared on a hanging slider with JD. Just right at him. It's a baseball sucks sometimes, dude. 
Takes off, first pitch, throws from the knees, and we both throw out a runner. <laughs> Dot. 0-2. Oh, 0-2 two. Oh, two slider. Beautiful. And a strikeout. Good slider. 1-2 on Freddie Freeman. Bounce a curveball. That's not a good pitch. Not at all. Oh, it ended up in a decent spot back door. We get through the inning. 3-1 on Joey Gallo here. I'm going to take until two strikes. Otani's kind of hard to control sometimes. He throws a get me over. We'll see if he does that again. He does not. That's ball four. Three and one to Justin Turner with Lau on deck. Three, two. Get a fastball up. I was a little hesitant. Good slider. That's a good pitch. Oh, come on! They get us on a check swing. Front door to curveball. He hung it. We got a good swing on it and a hard ground ball to end the inning and back-to-back -back innings to start this game. Through two, there's only one hit, no runs. We go to the third. And Aaron Judge scores the first run of this game on a solo shot to right. I am switching to analog. A strikeout for Lamette. There's a pack. Come on, we got to get some momentum going. Otani, top of the order. Fly ball to left. A one fastball away. Two down. And a fly ball to center. We barely had to move. All right, he gets one on the solo shot. Wasn't a great PCI. Other than that, nothing doing. We got to get that run right back. We've been in a couple bad at bats this game. Buxton! That ball's annihilated off the wall and left. It'll be extra bases. Justin Turner out to right! Won't be, or that's Trey Turner, I'm sorry, out to right. Won't be deep enough to score the run. We got runners on the corners for Dominguez. Good slide, wow, that slider's really getting me. It's one pitch I gotta make an adjustment on here. JD, hard ground out last time up. Need a knock with two outs. Bang! We had Trey Turner moving, that's gonna end up giving us the lead. It'll be a two run double for Just Dinger. Let's go! Big time. Three and one, Justin Turner on deck. Smoked! Out to right, super deep and right. I gotta keep him at third. They'll be on the corners for Justin Turner. The inning continues. I got way too aggressive. I knew he was throwing a fastball up and in. Kids, what are we swinging at? We get two, we spoil the inning. We just hit Ken Griffey Jr. to lead off the inning. My goodness. Takes off, first pitch, bunts foul. Quick pitch slider way out in front, it's 0-2. I just jammed him up and in 101 and he puts down a perfect bunt, come on. Swings through that fastball, it is 0-2. Back to the slider. One and two. Trout's so scary, man. Two seam now. Beautiful spot. Hooks it foul. Good spot. Oh, locked him up. Donaldson in now with two outs. Ground ball to third. We got him to chase. Routine for Joey Gallo. We end the inning. Oh, beat the shift, Brandon. Beat the shift, Lynn. Ah, nope. Dude, that slider is getting me every time. Byron Buxton doubled last time up, came around the score. Missed a hanging slider. Man, I've been really inconsistent in this game. That's three up, three down in the bottom of the fourth. We got to match it with a zero in the fifth. <laughs> Judge homered last time up. One, two slider and another strikeout for Lamette. Good spot. Ground ball to third, and that'll do it for the fifth. Gallo ends two innings in a row. Look at Lamette. Almost. Not quite. Trey Turner with a perfect, perfect. He's on fire. Jason Dominguez. 
perfect, perfect single. We get thrown out, and then we good square line out to the wall. Ay, 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 ay. Fly ball to right, one down. That was the worst release pitch in the history of pitches in MLB The Show. I'm gonna take him out right there. I'm just starting to get wild with him. I'm gonna bring bring uh, big old Garrett out to pitch here to Griffey. And he tries to bunt with Ken Griffey Jr.? I guess trying to beat the shift, not a terrible idea. 102 and he was way behind. So we run it again. 02 change up and strike out for Garrett. All right, we gotta get that run back. Time to go to work. JD, give me a sneaky one, atta boy. Atta boy. No, Joey Gallo, first pitch fastball, chest high. You gotta clip that thing and put it in the upper deck, Joey. Get down, ball. Jammed ourselves by swinging late, and just like that, there's two outs. Brandon Lau extends the inning with a two out knock. So many hits in this game. I believe we have eight to his two. His two hits are the solo shots, that's it. Gary! Turns on a slider! We more than double him up! Get this man out of here! The Kraken! Get him out! And of course, the home run didn't count to our stats, so no Gary parallel, but we did win the game 5-3, and I'm gonna count that home run and those stats towards our packs. JD Martinez just paralleled up. You love to see that. And we're really close to paralleling both Trey Turner and Justin Turner. We are now officially 8-0 in ranked seasons. We win two more, we will get another special pack. Eight hits, two runs, one caught stealing, for our catcher, we had six strikeouts. That is 17 standard packs, and then we have the special pack for the Rage Quit. Let's get it. 20 packs, there will be three left when we are done, and then we have our special pack to open. Not gonna tell you guys what we're doing with that until we get through here. It's nothing crazy. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold off. I'm still undecided on whether or not I'm gonna do the Tops Now packs uh, now or hold off a little bit longer on something like that. I'm hoping we can get some better live series pack luck because the standard packs have not been particularly great. We've got a ton of special packs early in the series and we've desperately needed it because the standard packs have not been good. I think we have nine more here, eight more. And then we're gonna try and go fishing on a big diamond that could be a game changer for our team, especially as we move up in ranked. We are now eight and oh. We've been crushing it. This is our second two-game episode. Second. I think we've had seven rage quits and a walk-off. <laughs> we have a walk-off and seven rage quits. That's hilarious. Three more packs. Joey Barton, that last one. Two more. Last pack. You've got to be kidding me. Not even a gold. Not even a gold. All right, set six headliner has this 92 postseason Adam Wainwright. This is a relief pitcher, 92, sinker, cutter, curveball at 74. You know all about that Adam Wainwright curveball. And there's old Uncle Charlie. We are going to throw one dart at this set six headliner. I know the odds of getting a diamond out of a headliner are low, but again, this is one that I really, really want, and hopefully we can at least get a gold if not. Come on. No! <laughs> ah! Zero upgrades once again. It's looking like we're gonna be rocking out with the same squad in the next one. I'm gonna grind out some, some better special packs that we can have in our pack inventory so that the next time we get a special pack, we can get ourselves a goon. We need another goon on this team, man. PCI starting to shrink a bit. We're gonna start facing the Corbin Burns of the world on a regular basis in ranked seasons. And once we get the Hall of Fame, gonna be tough with some of these guys. We gotta make some upgrades. But for now, we are 8-0. We're looking good. We're having fun. The team's going off. We're starting to parallel cards. And Trey Turner's next. We're paralleling him in the next episode. If you wanna see that, hit the thumbs up down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.